Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our Moment of Power title today is Lamb or Dragon Worship. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Revelation 13 verse 8 There will be only two groups of worshippers as we get to earth's final moments. The final events that will polarize, divide the earth into these two groups will be rapid ones. One group will worship Jesus, the Lamb, and the other will worship Satan, the dragon. Verse 4 of Revelation 13 describes those who worship the dragon by worshiping the beast. Quote, And they worshiped the dragon which gave power unto the beast, and they worshiped the beast, saying, Who is able to make war with him? True worship has everything to do with keeping the commandments of God. Those who worship Jesus, the Lamb of God, can only please Him if they worship Him according to the commandments of God. Those who continue to keep or cling to the commandments or traditions of men like using images in worship, keeping Friday or Sunday as a Sabbath, cannot please him. Jesus said, quote, Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, These people draw it nigh unto me with their mouth, and honor it me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Unquote. Matthew 15, 7 to 9. Those who worship the Lamb in the last days must separate themselves from any man made or human tradition. Any man made religion cannot fit anyone in these last days into the kingdom of God after we have come to understand, come to the knowledge of the truth, because the three angels' messages will be taking the knowledge of the truth, the knowledge about the worship of the true God to every part of the earth. The book of Revelation always describes God's last day people as those who keep the commandments of God. When contrasting beasts and dragon worshippers from lamb worshippers, the revelator says, quote, Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus. Unquote. Revelation 14, verse 12. When describing God's last day church, the final remnant before Jesus' uh, second coming, John wrote, quote, And the dragon was wrought with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandment of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Unquote. Revelation 12, 17. Of those who will enter into the city through the pearly gates, the revelator said, quote, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have a right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Unquote. Revelation 22 verse 14. So it is clear that the worship of the true God has everything to do with keeping his commandments. Today the Lamb who gave his life and was slain for you calls you to true worship. He says, If you love me, 
keep my commandments. This is how to have a saving relationship with him. This is the moment of power. Do have a great day in Jesus' name. Amen.